Now let's move on to the next question which is question number 61 of JE 2017 code D chemistry video solutions. Now let's start with the question 1 gram of metallic carbonate that is M2CO3 this is the general formula for the metallic carbonate on treatment with excess of HCl produces 0.01186 moles of carbon dioxide and we are expected to calculate the molar mass of M2CO3. So as the name suggests this has to do something with moles. There could be various methods for which uh, various methods which you could use it for solving it but the best method is to go for moles. Now we exactly don't know what is happening between the metallic carbonate and HCl right. So let's try to write down the equation. So we write M2CO3 plus HCl giving so uh, chlorine and you have M2 right. So what could be the uh, product? So it could be something like MCl2 plus hydrogen combining with carbonate. So since Cl2 is there, we put 2 moles of HCl. So that means it could be something like H2O plus CO2. And as, as it is needed, that uh, the reaction is written in such a way that carbon dioxide gas is evolved, right? So our reaction is correct. Let's try to check whether it is balanced. Uh, so it is going to be M2 and 2 HCl. So it could be something like M2Cl2, right? So it could be something like uh, M2CO2 or Mm, let's see M2 here M2 here you have 2Cl here H2 CO3 is nothing but H2O plus CO2 yes it's correct so if you could see this one mole of M2 CO3 would give one mole would release one mole of CO2 correct so that means one mole of M2 CO3 releases one mole of CO2 but how many moles of CO2 has been released it is 0, 0.0 1186 moles of CO2 is released right. So if we could write the correspondence equations 1 mole of M2 CO3 corresponds to 1 mole of CO2. So that means one, uh, 0 0.01186 moles of CO2 would, uh, would be from, would be from uh, 0 0.01186 moles of M2 CO3 correct. So uh, I hope this makes sense right. So this is the equation which we are going to use. So 0 0.01186 moles of M2CO3. Now we already don't know the moles, right? And we could use the simple formula number of moles equal to mass by molar mass. And mass is given 1 gram, correct? So I could simply write this corresponds to molar mass would be equal to mass upon number of moles, right? So where n is nothing but moles. This is the standard notation. So mass is 1, okay, and the um, number of moles is 0 0.01186. So the answer comes to be something like 84.31, okay. Let's try to check, yes. We have an option 84.3, so you could just round it off as 84.3. So the correct answer for this particular question is 84.3. So the answer for this question is option one okay so this is a very very simple method you could use another method like going for mass calculations but that would actually complicate it more so better to use the mole calculation because moles have been asked so it's better to use the mole calculation instead of mass calculation so that complexity could be reduced i hope you like this video for more videos please like comment or subscribe for these videos